I want to show you today our prickly stick. Both of our prickly sticks are females, and I know that because their male counterparts have wings and they do not. And you can see that they are very well named because they are prickly and they do look like a stick. And that is their first line of defense, is their camouflage. You can um, see that they're very hard to identify, especially from a distance if you're not particularly looking for them. And they have legs that are even quite leaf shaped. You'll also see she'll t get um, to swaying back and forth, which also helps her hide because she looks as though she's moving with the tree in the wind. Now, if you do see her, her next line of defense is to mimic a scorpion. And you can see she can curl up her tail to look very intimidating. The truth is, though, is she can't sting anybody. So she really relies on you thinking that she can hurt you because she is quite harmless. She can either sting you with her tail or bite you um, with her um, uh, mouth. You can see she's reared up right now. Again, trying to look intimidating. And then her last line of defense, if you look under her belly, I'll see if I can lift her up a little bit, is she does have a very prickly belly. So if you were to try to grasp her, it might feel uncomfortable enough for you to let her go. But she is harmless and she um, spends her day climbing around in the eucalyptus trees of Australia, eating leaves. She has really sharp tarsus, these hooks on her, on her legs, which allows her to climb in any sort of position and easily grasp anything. In fact, she can easily grasp even the slick surface of her plastic um, container. So this is our prickly stick and she comes to us from Australia.